Good morning students, welcome to Kalabari Academy. In the case of the discussion, three genes in wheat kernel. That is, we can discuss the wheat kernel in two genes in the wheat kernel. But Nizanadili, both of them found out that it is not two genes, there are three genes which controls the Control the which controls the color of the wheat kernel. So, what is that? Though this is also polygenic instead of two third gene. A third gene also affects the kernel color of the wheat. So, three independent pairs of alleles are involved in it. So, what they found? This is one pair of allele, this is one pair of allele, this is one pair of allele. Three independent pair of alleles decide controls the color of the wheat kernel. Nizanelli found that the ratio is 63 red and 1 white. 63 red, when this white and red are crossed, you are getting 63 red and these 63 are in many shades and 1 white and 1 white in F2 generation. This is how we are getting. What is the reason for it? What is the inference? Nizanelli showed that blending of inheritance was not taking place. So, the alleles are not blending together in the kernel of the wheat, though three genes are involved in the kernel color ex expression. So, in F2 generation, plants have kernels with wide range of color variation. This is due to the fact that the genes are segregating and recombination takes place. They segregate and recombination takes place. That is why different types of colors are coming up. There is another evidence for the absence of blending of inheritance is that parental phenotypes that is dark red also appears and white also appears again in the F2. This also shows that there is no blending but it is segregating and rec recombining. That is why different sets of colors are obtained. So, again law of, law, law of the Mendel, independent assortment and law of segregation that is proved again. So, thank you students, we will meet again in the next discussion. Thank